Hi everyone, welcome to the series on Machine. We're focusing in this one on 2.6.5, which is the latest update, which introduces some major new features. Now, the good news is you can still go on using Machine exactly how it was before this update. It doesn't really break anything or change anything that you're already doing. But what it does do is make pattern arranging and access so much easier. So that's the main update. And what that essentially boils down to is this ideas view here. So if we click on this button here, it goes back to arrangement. This is basically what you're used to using already. So you go here and you maybe create a scene by going down here and clicking on a pattern. And that will assign the pattern right there. And that's how we used to do it. But I'm just going to undo that. Um, if we click on this button right here, it'll take us back to this new ideas view. And what this does is it gives you access first and foremost to your groups down here. So if you click on these groups, you'll see it highlights. And of course, as you're used to, each of these groups have their own patterns. So if we go over here to drums, we have a lot of different patterns to choose from, and these are all assigned to different pads. Now, the difference here is, as you can see, these patterns are now all laid out for you. When you click on the group, you can actually go and access all these different patterns individually, and you can work on them, make some edits, some changes right away, and they're all laid out here visually for you. You can also double click here to create a new pattern, right click to delete, you can alt click and drag so you can actually create a copy of the pattern and you can even just drag it over to another group. So you can take that existing pattern and apply it to some other sound. You can't do this just by normal dragging, it has to be alt drag. Okay, so I'm going to delete this by just pressing delete on the keyboard. And I'm going to show you the other major thing about this update. I can just unhighlight all of these. So the other major addition are these scene tabs up here. So if you're used to, say, Ableton Live or Machine Jam, this is something you're already going to be familiar with. The scenes basically allow you to say, well, I want this pattern from group one, this pattern from group two, and this pattern from group three, and so on for each scene. And that way you can build up different parts of your song. Now, the great thing about this is you can create all these different variations, these different scenes with different patterns playing, and just switch between them on the fly just to get a feel for what works best. So you don't actually have to go and commit this stuff to your arranger right away. So we're here with scene one, and the way you create a scene is just by hitting plus. By default, you get a white color, but we can go down here and give it any old color we want. And we can also nice and easily rename them just by double clicking here. So this doesn't really make sense in the context of this kind of track, but I think it'll just help just to give you an idea of the kinds of things you can do. So right here, I'm going to start off with this intro scene. So we're going to click on pattern one, the most basic one here, and press play. Now maybe I want in this intro scene to include some bass. That's sort of straight away. Or let's try out some of these hits as well. Okay, so I'm going to hold off on that for the intro. Let's try out this ambience. And this is basically how you build the different scenes, just by experimenting and choosing which actual patterns you want to play in this particular scene. And so one of the things that kind of confused me when I first took a look at this was just sort of the visuals of how this is laid out. It kind of looks like we've got a group here with a column. Here are the patterns. That much makes sense. But in this column, we also have the scene, the intro. But that's not the case. So try to think of this section up here as being really separate from what you see down here. It's basically, we've got these different tabs. These are our different scenes. And this is kind of like, and it sounds a bit funny to say, but this is a bit like a buffet of our patterns here. We can just go in and select whatever we want. And it can be, you know, any one of these patterns, or we can create a new one and so on. And then we can go to the next one and do another variation. So I'm going to go in order here and try to do something that's kind of sensible. So we started with this one here. I'm going to instantly go to our pattern right here and just build up the drums a little bit and stay with bass one. And then over here, I'm going to do the same. Just build the drums a little bit. Then over here, we're going to do, say, a drop or a break rather. And we'll have the synth sound here. But 
no drums. Let's open up a little bit here and have a look. Break extended. So one of these parts, we get a little change here in the melody. Right here. So what's going on with our basses here? Let's have a look. Okay, so we want pattern three. So we'll add that in the next one. Now, you can see here, if we just right click, we can actually duplicate this. That saves me a little bit of time. Because I basically want the same thing as this, but I want to add this bass right here. Now, with this one, I'm just going to change this up because I think we've got a riser here. There we go. So, right here, I'm just going to add that again with one of these drum loops. Again, we're going to duplicate. So that's basically how you go along and build a pattern, but as I said, you can basically switch to anything you want. Now when you have a lot more groups and a lot more stuff going on, it becomes even more important to have this flexibility before you actually go and commit to creating your arrangement. But once you're happy with this sort of layout, you can actually just go in here and right click and click on append to arrangement right here. And if you go back to the arrangement view, you'll see it laid out just like that. So again, we'll go to Verse, Pen to Arrangement, and we'll just do this with a few more of these, just to flesh it out. And you can see they've been added to the arrangement, so this is a great way of fixing down your ideas once you've experimented in the Ideas view. So we're going to wrap this up here, take a break, and I'll have more to show you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.